up? It's Angelia JK, and today I'm here with my husband. We're this is the first time like you in like a video, right? Yeah, I think it is. Like you would hear him and stuff, and maybe see glimpses of him, but this is the first time he's actually doing like a full sit down video, and it's a two part video. First part is where we just uh, show you guys how we met, where we met, how he proposed, and little things like that. And then our second part will be 20 questions, the couple's game. So. And I hate hair, y'all, but I got a haircut. Yeah, and he shaved his beard. I hate when he shaves his beard. He shaves it just so it can grow back thicker. So it's a process of getting like a full grown man beard. You know what I'm saying? But whatever and then he had what did you call it babe what did you have the hair i had a box yeah so it was hot and i i don't like that like i like when it's just like this like daddy ish you know but uh so how did we meet babe so and i'm also gonna be drinking and eating chips because i have not ate all day long okay so how do we so babe how did we meet so we met in the middle of my sophomore year, which was your junior yeah, I was a year. junior. We went to high school together at Pinkston in mm -hmm. uh, Dallas. Mm -hmm. And it was, I think, the beginning, the beginning of basketball season, which, um... Basketball. So he played basketball, and I was a cheerleader. And that's how we just, like, seen each other. Like, we, that's why we were, like, in the mix, because... We both went to Edison together, but I never knew him. And did you know me? I never knew her. You didn't know me? No, I didn't know you. <laughs> no, but he didn't know me. <laughs> so, and then that was my junior year in high school, and it was his sophomore year. We, we still didn't know each other, even though we went to uh, all of middle school and then high school. We still didn't know each other until basketball season came around, and I was a cheerleader. And that's how we got to know each other. It was his, Arthur's my best friend, so that's, and they had class together. So there's the connection. And what? I guess, like, we would just be talking, like, little, like, friend talk, like. Yeah, it got, it was kind of like that, where you talk more and more, like, every day. But I remember, um, like, even before that, uh, it was one day after practice. And I just heard, like, I heard that she liked me. It probably wasn't true, but I just heard that she liked me, and I just started. I made a conversation with her before she left, and, you know, it just happened after that. Yeah, so Arthur probably funny. told him that I liked him, which was not true. I was not feeling dude, okay? <laughs> I wasn't. And, but I remember Arthur saying, like, this is a time where, like, before um, Derek, I would always, it was me and my ex, it would always be back and forth, back and forth. So I never really like put myself out there with other dudes because I knew I would always get back with my ex. So when uh, I wasn't just feeling like we were just cool, but I wasn't like thinking like we're going to be together, blah, blah, blah. But Arthur told me one day that uh, he liked me and I was just like, okay, like, and get in line, you know? So, I really, like, I was just like, okay. So, then, yeah, like you said, we start talking, like, every day more and more. And then, like, I really started liking him. And that's when I start feeling dude, you know. So, there's that. And then, like, I remember we were talking. It was probably, like, two months. And he thought we was going out. Like, he thought we was boyfriend and girlfriend. And I remember his auntie was like, we was at this basketball game. And his auntie was like, uh... Liddy, this your girlfriend? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, what? You ain't asked me out. Like, you ain't asked me out yet. So he just assumed, like, we was talking every day and we was kissing. But that's my fault, y'all. Don't be kissing niggas unless they ask you out. But we was talking every day. We was kissing. And then, so he thought we, uh, we was, I was his girl. But I'm like, no, you haven't asked me out yet. So, of course, my extra bougie self made him take me on a proper date. You know, y'all know how I be. Y'all know how I be. And ask me out. So it was. What day did you ask me out? That was January first, which New is our Year's. anniversary. Yeah, that's our anniversary. But well, I, our boyfriend girlfriend anniversary. Yeah. We just got married in January fifteenth. Thirteenth. So Thirteenth. Okay, check me then. <laughs> so we just got married January thirteenth, and uh, so that's our new anniversary. But, yeah, I had made him ask me out. So I'm like, dude, you just can't say I'm your girl. Like, no. 
you can't do that. You asked me out, you know? I had to teach him a lot, though, because he thought he was just going to treat me any kind of way. Like, no. Well, he, he just thought he was going to be average. He thought this relationship was going to be mediocre. It's not. Okay, you're going to open my door for me. You're going to do this, 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 this. What, how did you propose to me? Um, Let's so, just go back to, like, us getting married anyway. Because if you, like, we just got, if you're our family, we just literally decided one day we was going to get married. Mm -hmm. It was quick, y'all. Like, we, what day, well, you, he, we decided we was going to get married in November. We got married in January. Like, that's a quick wedding. You know what I'm saying? It looked oh, yeah. good, though. It wasn't a lot of time to put it together, but yeah. we made it look good, though. Well, the people that we had, you know, family and stuff made it look good. Yeah. But, yeah, y'all know I was, I was turned up. I was in the thing. I was lit. Um... So what was it? So this is how we got. I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain the beginning part of like us deciding to get married, and Derek will explain how he proposed. So me and Derek wanted to move in together. I was tired of living at my mama house with 50 people, and Derek was tired of living at his house. We went from going to school together. We went uh, my first year of college. I was by myself. With my second year, Derek came to uh, commerce with me, and we lived together for that whole year. So we went from living together for a year. In college to coming back to our parents house with you know like other people in our space and we just yeah. didn't like that like we were like we're now like in love and just wanted to be with each other every day and we couldn't do that like being with our parents and stuff I mean we could be together every day but we didn't want to just be going back and forth to each other's house like we just wanted to live together so we started looking for apartments now uh I contemplated about moving in together with Derek and not being married. Me and him are both Christians, so, you know, shacking up is a sin, like living together before you're being married. So, I contemplated with that, like, should I do that? Like, I'm really doing well with my faith, and I don't want to go back steps by taking this action of moving in together. So, I reached out to a couple of my friends who were some non active christians non-christians and christians the, my christian friends of course said girl no like get married y'all need to get married like why aren't y'all married yet y'all went to college together like y'all know you went without him because in the beginning people would say like oh angel when you go to college like you ain't gonna be with Derek no more like you're gonna experience things have new dudes like in your face blah 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 but like this my dude so if you in my face you too close okay that's how i feel <laughs> So, in college, and I wasn't like that, like, when, in college, like, I'm just not, like, into the partying and stuff like that. Like, if you know me, like, my two friends that I went to college with, Shay and Kendall, like, they know. They would invite me to stuff, like, at the end, like, of the second month we was in school together, they invite me to nothing else. Because I would never go. And the one time they did invite me and I was planning on going, I ended up falling asleep in my party clothes that I was going to go out in. So, but I just didn't do that. So, like, the dude thing wasn't, like, I wasn't into that. I didn't care like I already had my boyfriend so anyway my friends my Christian friends was just like why won't y'all just get married already like y'all been together for a while y'all trust each other know each other my non-active friends would just say I guess the same thing that my non-Christians would say y'all have to be together and y'all have to live together before y'all get married and live together but we already lived together in college basically you know so um me and Derek always talked about marriage like oh we're gonna get married you know what I'm saying like we always knew we were gonna get married we just didn't know when so I prayed about it a lot I cried to Derek a lot about the situation he seen how like frustrated I was with this decision and he was just like babe like it's fine like we'll get married first and before we move in so um how I proposed this and she was always She's a picky person, like real picky. So, I mean, she didn't want like the big, um, say we like walking in the mall or with all around all these people, like family and things like that. She didn't want it like that. Yeah, I didn't so, want him to propose like with a lot of, I wanted it to be intimate. I didn't want us at a restaurant 
and he everybody eating and he just bust out on one knee like no i'm getting on one knee too and asking you what you're doing it's like don't do that <laughs> for real all right but um so the way i propose is like i had the rain and that day um we went to papa Do's. that's my favorite restaurant so we got out the car and we came in on the side entrance you know where it was dark and it had like it was you know, a the garden little, area yeah the little garden area with the lights and all that other stuff so it was cute that's what he's trying to say yeah oh so, yeah i let her get in front of me and i got down on the knee and i i think i called i said babe i think i said babe i can't remember what i said but she turned around and i hit the ring up and she just smiled she didn't cry she smiled though <laughs> Yeah. And I put it on her finger and we just... And he asked me, do you want to marry me? And I said, hell yeah. She didn't say that. I didn't, but I was just like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and then after that, we just walked on in to Papa Do's and... And I ate good. I ordered whatever I wanted. Well, that is how we met and how Derek proposed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the second part where we do 20 questions.